Hello friends. Now today we will be discussing about the renal pathology. We will start the new. Uh, we will start the same continuation of our renal uh, first aid. Uh, we are dis we are revising the first aid renal system. Okay. So what we are going to talk about the cast in urine. Cast. What are cast? Cast are actually uh, when you remember that our kidney there is no protein loss from the glomerulus due to the protein filtration barrier, due to the charge present in the protein barrier. Okay, but there are certain amount of the protein that is secreted, that is secreted through the thick ascending loop of Henle. Okay, and that protein then get denaturated and settle down and take the shape of the tubers. So, remember you have remembered the uh, renal uh, structure, that is PCT, uh, loop of Henle, descending limb, loop of Henle, thick ascending loop, then DCT collecting tubules comes. So, in the thick ascending loop, there is a secretion of this transphosphor protein. So, before that, there is no chance of formation of this cast. Okay. But after thick ascending loop, limb of loop of Henle, there is the distal capillary tubule collecting ducts. In there, this protein, they secrete a protein called trans term horsefall mucoprotein or protein and they get deposited in late distal convoluted tubule or collecting ducts when there is low urine flow rate and acidic pH. In acidic pH, this protein gets denaturated, okay, and denaturated and settle down. Some, some theory says that they get combined with the lifetime protein and settle down. When this protein gets settled down, it will take the shape of the tubule when it has been settled down. Okay, so it will like appear as a tubular structure. Now, one thing you have to remember that this is formed only into the distal capillary tubule, collecting ducts, collecting tubules. So, after that, suppose you comes to the um, major and minor calyxes, then pelvics, then ureter, then your bladder, then urethra. These are also the part of your renal system. Okay, so there is no chance of formation of this into your calyces, okay, or into the ureter, or into the bladder, or into the urethra. These are the typical structures that form into your renal tubules, and so it takes the tubular structure, which also means that this tubular structure indicates the disease of your kidney only. You have to again I'm repeating again. It, it is the it represents the disease of the kidney only. Why? Because it forms in the renal tubules only. After that, any disease will occur. After your renal tubules, suppose minor calyx, major calyx, ureter, pelvis of the ureter, bladder, urethra, there is no chance of finding this cast, this tubular structure, because they are formed into the renal tubules. Okay. So this renal tubule, if found into the urine, they represent the what they represent the renal tubule disease or before that okay so it solely represent the disease of your kidney so it is also known as the poor man renal biopsy so it's truly and only represent the kidney disease it has nothing to relate with your even in your renal pelvis say major minor calyxes then pelvis of the ureter if you have a stone in the major or minor calyces or say into the pelvis of the ureter or you say ureter pelvis of the kidney or say or ureter or your bladder or your urethra there will be hematuria there will be rbc comes into their blood but they will not form any cast because after this is post your renal tubules disease and they are not going to form on this renal tubular structure okay so any cancer in your uh, say ureter or in the uh, bladder or urethra that will form with hematuria. They will loss or they will form the that RBC in your urine, but they are not responsible for formation of this tubular structure. So this tubular structure is solely represent the kidney disease, okay? And it doesn't represent any disease beyond that. That any disease of your ureter, any disease of your say your bladder infection, cystitis, that does also should represent anything. Will not give any information from here. Even bladder cancer, bladder stone, okay, renal stone that is normally present in the major or minor calyx or pelvis of the ureter, okay. So that is there, there will be hematuria, but that doesn't form the this cast, this tubular structure. So always remember if they are saying in the question or anywhere, or if a patient you have found any cast, 
that slowly indicates that something is wrong with the renal tubule and kidney only and so it's named as the poor man renal biopsy and that is important so in for in, this is a very good this this casts are the very good informative these are the very good indicator of renal disease and according to the cast we can identify we can suggest we can suspect that renal disease even in your usml equation they will give you if they are giving you this cast mentioning you cast then it's a bingo you have a almost narrow down your diagnosis okay so that is important in a not cell these are the cast are the form by the precipitation of your tan phosphor protein that is from the base of your cast that is matrix of your cast okay and normally this cast that is tubular structure is known as the hyaline cast that is non specific and can can find in the normal portion so this is the normal portion why because tan phosphor protein is a protein that is secreted in every portion and that is normal finding your protein doesn't leak from the glomerular membranes but there is a protein that is secreted into thick ascending loop of the and that is known as the tan phosphor protein and they get denaturated settle down into the renal tubules okay so in me you everybody this hyaline cast can be found if we can we concentrate the urine so hyaline cast is a normal finding but there are other diseases and where where this there will be and there will be different name of the cast suppose suppose see, there is a say you have a glomerulonephritis or malignant hypertension there if there is a glomerular is inflamed there is a nephritis or say malignant hypertension then what occurs then this glomerular nephritis or malignant hypertension will lead to the leakage of your rbc now your glomerular has been inflamed there has been leaked the rbc now rbc is coming down and you know the rbc size is 7 micrometer so your rbc will be get settled down over this tubular structure so it was a high in cast there was nothing there now your rbc that was leased due to the disease process has been come and settled down on your this cast and this name is rbc cast so there is nothing more or new in the rbc cast this is just your base that has formed by the tan phosphor protein that is heading cast and then that on that the rbc due to the disease process got deposited and that is known as the rbc cast how you will be identified because rbc are the smaller cells that you have to know that is a 7 micrometer and you can easily if you see the urine concentrate the urine observe there in the microscope you will find as a tubular structure and over that rbc has gain settled now rbc has gain and stick there this is known as the rbc cast okay sometimes rbc you have to de determine the rbc by the size and its refractile nature sometimes this rbc get spiky if it is a chronic the urine has been left for few hours then it get settled down and get sink in and there will be a spiky appearance this is also rbc cast on the size will be 7 mm only okay sometime due to the long prolongation the rbc get shrunk and such appearance of it although maximum of the time if you see the urine if you urine will be very small structure refractile 7 mm diameter and refractile structure in the urine that is rbc okay so rbc on your preform this hyaline cast get settled down get deposited and this there will be appearance of your this type of structure and there will be the rbc of stack over there settled down over there this is known as the rbc cast and that is occurred in through the glomerular nephritis and malignant hypertension okay so i hope you have understood this so this is rbc cast you have seen this is the backbone bound formed by your hyaline cast and over that rbc get deposited that is rbc cast cost cause of the rbc cast is glomerular nephritis and malignant hypertension if there is same structure is found you know that structure is same but on this structure if we found that if we found that wbc and the wbc size is 12 to 14 micrometer so wbc size will be more okay and in rbc there will be no nucleus so there will be no a nucleated round small structure refractile and that will be deposited on your cast this will be the large okay and there will be nucleus over this this is wbc wbc in the cast so wbc cast 
simple the name okay so wbc will be deposited in your back, back matrix backbone and from the cast this is known as the wbc cast it is simple if you understand the real matter okay so wbc cast wbc get leaked into the your renal tubules and it get deposited what are the cause acute pyloneophritis pyloneophritis one the there is the pus formation in your kidney so that get deposit upon your cast this is the cast can be or not um, that is usually formed so it gets deposited but wbc cost is not for me and me and you unless you are going to have this infection by or tubular interstitial inflammation or say transplant rejection in this condition you will find the wbc cast and wbc cast is wbc getting deposited for your hyaline cast okay so this is simple and if you if you know if you can identify this double cast or your question has mentioned that the urine analysis has found the w case cast then you differential diagnosis okay first is the paranephritis acute tubular interstitial inflammation paranephritis transplant rejection you have been now narrowed down and you will easily solve the question so it is a good what's a good indicator if it is said in your question that is very good there are two that can be question one you will show the Image, image I mentioned in the first step, you go through it and you will be fine. Or you Google, you will find these images. That is very simple. You just understand what that image means. Because image you can't understand if you are not from the lab portion. So I am explaining it. Okay. So you understood about the WC cast also. And the WC cast will form into the interstitial inflammation, equipment, pyronephritis, and transplant rejection. So now comes to the fatty cast. Fatty cast, fatty cast is the same you will have the your back backbone and that is allen cast okay the problem is here the fatty cast is normally the lipids and protein doesn't get leak from your glomerulus but if any disease has lead to the leak of your protein or lipid then that will go and deposit upon your backbone check okay and this will be even larger size than that of your this will be variable size actually lipid doesn't will have a variable size some will be large some will be small okay and that will even it will not have the nucleus but it will not match with your rbc that you have to check because it is larger in size okay so protein nephrotic syndrome so fatty cast that is in suppose nephrotic syndrome nephrotic syndrome your glomerular has been damaged and protein happy protein we have massive protein uvi is there protein is getting late along with that lipid droplets are kept late and they get deposited upon your cast okay so there will be variable size of this lipid droplets even in your urine if you found there will be the lipid droplets and this indicates that it is a your fatty cast fat is deposited over there then it is fatty cast so oval fat bodies and it is found in the nephrotic syndrome where there has been more force to leak out of your this lipid and protein okay there is if you if, it, if this is mentioned that multi multi's cross sign it is seen under the polarized light and if it is mentioned that it is indicating that they are telling you that there is a fatty cast so this fatty cast is the your backbone having cast over this fat is get deposited some protein also get deposited and in this will be formation there it will not similar to this and this there will be variable size of this round structure a fractal structure and there will be a nucleated wbc has nucleus so you can differentiate it from wbc cast and rbc these are very small and packed together but this will be scattered even in the uh, outside and there will be a very large compared to even larger than the wbc so you can diagnose that this is a fatty cast and fatty cast causes nephrotic syndrome even one more point we added that there may be a multi cross sign has seen in the urine analysis under the polarized light and which indicates that they are telling telling you about the fatty cast so you have understood that fatty cast so fatty cast is found in nephrotic syndrome now we could talk about the granular cast granular cast is nothing simple your hyaline cast but there will be a granular dotted structure over the cast and it is known as the granular cast so this is granular cast cast so granular cast what is there it will appear as a muddy brown like muddy brown but there is nothing just a tubular structure on which the granules dotted structure will be seen okay and that is known as the granite crust it is found in the acute tubular necrosis 
so you'll understand you you i think after this lecture you should be able to understand your cast by seeing it you can say okay this is rbc cast this is wbc cast this is okay fatty cast this is glandular cast there is i have discussed about this four and there you can easily differentiate rbc is there small size wbc is there large size nucleated uh, fatty cast there will be a same structure tubular structure but the fat lipid droplets will be there okay and if it comes to the granular cast then we only granules will be there and this is found in pituitary necrosis okay so you have understood this also now there is another term known as the waxy cast this waxy cast is actually peak this is this is so this is the actually in found in the chronic kidney diseases okay and this will appear as a waxy appearance okay the color will be absent but there will be no cells it will be a granular like herring cast it will be also there will be also waxy cast herring and waxy cast both are a granular they are just a deposition of the protein but the thing is that in chronic kidney diseases these waxy cast are bigger in size thick big waxy cast which will appear as like waxy appearance but major criteria of this finding is thick and bigger one okay wider one that indicates your waxy cast and waxy cast is found in and distress renal disease of chronic renal disease that is chronic renal failure or end stage renal disease you will find this waxy cast what is the cardinal feature of waxy cast it will be thick big wide and a cellular no cell no cell over it like in rbc cast there was rbc over there that is rbc cell is there in wbc wbc cell was there in their fat cell sorry in granular you can see the dotted appearance but here nothing will be there but it will be thick and white that is waxy cast so now you can identify the x waxy cast as well and now last not but not the least is the hyaline cast hyaline cast will be the similar to their small narrow tubules tubule shaped okay and that no cell is there this will be small narrow without any cell this is hyaline cast show hyaline cast there will be no any cell as well no any cellular structure over there and it will be plain no granule no granule if granule the granule is cast if rbc then rbc cast if wbc wbc cast if fat fatty cast okay and since not any there it is hyaline cast okay if how to difference between the waxy cast waxy cast will be wide thick and broad so that is all about your cast if you understand this this and it will be a very useful indicator to solve your question i hope this is very helpful and i do request to subscribe to the channel so you will get the more this so that will make me a drive to work hard to make the better video and you will also not able to miss any new video if i upload so do subscribe to the channel thank you